hello and welcome back everybody to another youtube video in today's video i will explain and solve problem set 5 testing my twitter so in this problem we want to develop a program to run some tests on our uh, uh, twitter program and see if it's working as it should uh, but first let's uh, restruct our code uh, bear these two functions so let's copy this code from here let's put them in the shorten function okay and here let's call our function shorten but it needs a, a parameter so we will actually move this line here and pass in text as the parameter and let's change uh, these to a word because we take a word uh, yeah. is our parameter here so change every text to word and at the end let's return word or new text yeah new text and to show the result we should print the return value from this function so I think uh, this will work, so let's test our program Python Okay, so let's Go see, yeah, it's, it's working the, the vowels are removed and Let's test on uppercase letters And it's also working so now let's move on uh, to develop our uh, program that will run tests on uh, this code so let's move to this file and first let's uh, import the function shorten from this file so from twitter import shorten and we will also make two functions main and uh, another function we will call it test twitter okay so let's initiate our two functions the first is main and let's call the second test twitter and we'll do some test cases here and at the end let's call the main function So yeah, here we will uh, just call uh, the test uh, Twitter function. So yeah, let's get right into it and write some tests. So first, let's assert and call the function from this file, which is shorten, and pass in hello, for example. And this sh this should be equal to hello without the e and the o. So yeah. So let's use pytest to see if that's correct. So pytest and our file here. So yeah, the test uh, passed. So let's add some more. We want to uh, check for every case. Uh, in this uh, program so check if it's working on uppercase letters lowercase letters and uh, for multiple words for example so let's here make uh, write hello all uppercase and this should be uppercase too let's also check for uh, a sentence for example so let's type hello world so yeah let's leave it let's leave hello lowercase and this uppercase so this should be equal to d okay let's see if uh, these two additional test cases are working 
so let's run pytest again and it's also working so what else can we test okay let's test for uh, numbers so numbers should shouldn't uh, be edited at all so for example 23 should output 23 no changes and let's try letters and uh, numbers for example so cs50 should also be cs50 okay let's see if those are working okay nice so let's actually uh, assert uh, wrong values so hello world let's leave it like that and see if pytest is uh, is actually catching uh, errors so yeah one test failed or the test failed in this line yeah here it tell you what the output should be so it should be hll comma world and what we asserted is this value so let's uh, modify it and write it the correct way okay i think uh, this is enough but we can also check uh, if punctuation uh, is uh, is working also so let's write some punctuation and the output should be the same so let's run pytest again yeah so it's working test passed so yeah i think we covered every possible uh, case i think this is enough but uh, let's use the check uh, cs50 to see if every test is uh, passed okay let's run check 50 so yeah as you can see uh, we covered every case so if it's if the, the input is vowel uh, is it replaced uh, by nothing so just the normal uh, case uh, it's our first case here the vowels are removed and the capitalized vowel like here is also removed and lowercase vowel and numbers like here uh, printing in uppercase so if you have uppercase like this the output is still uppercase and punctuation like this one so yeah we covered every test case so yeah we are done here so uh, that's the end of today's video thank you for watching and see you next time